Assalamu alaikum and good morning students. Welcome to Forward Public School, e-learning class 5th, subject social studies, chapter number 2, physical regions, written work. I am your teacher Selma Saftar. Now students, these are the contents of your midterm syllabus. You have to write all work in your neat copies. Chapter number 2, physical regions. Contents, number 1, words meanings, 5, fill in the blanks, 5, true false, 5, short question answers, 4, long question answers, 3. Now students, on your next page, write words meanings. Draw a line in the center of the page. Number 1, region, khitte, coastal, sahili, plateau, satamurtafa, desert, sahara, agriculture, zarat. Draw finishing line. Now we will write fill in the blanks. Number 1. Four options are given and you will write the correct answer. Kohe Sufed, White Mountain is located in Waziristan. Waziristan, Soat, Mohmand Agency, Kuram Agency. Number 2. K2 is the second highest peak of the world. Four options are given. First, second, third, fourth. Correct answer is second. Number 3. Tibet Plateau is located in China. Four options are given. China, Pakistan, Iran, Afghanistan. Correct answer is China. Number four, Nile River is located in Egypt. Four options are given. Iran, Pakistan, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Egypt. Number five, a high and flat area of the land having at least one sharp slope is called plateau. Four options are given. Mountain, plain, plateau, beach. Correct answer is plateau. Draw a finishing line. Now students, on the next page, write, tick the correct and cross for false statements. Number one, Pakistan can be divided physically into four regions. False. All the rivers of Punjab merge into the Indus at Multan. Cross. Northern mountain ranges meet the Himalaya mountain in the west. False. Desert area is located along with Arabian Sea in the north. False. Hilly areas are densely populated all over the world. True. Draw a finishing line. Now students, write short question answers. Question number one. What is a region? Answer. The area where geographical, social and cultural environment is common is called a region. For example, equatorial region. Draw a finishing line. Question number two. Into how many regions can Pakistan be divided according to altitude level? Answer. Pakistan can be divided into five regions according to altitude level. Number one, mountainous regions. Number two, plain region. Number three, plateau. Number four, coastal area. And the last one is desert. Now students, we will write question number three. Which rivers flow into the plain areas of Pakistan? The river Indus and its tributaries, that is Sutlej, Ravi, Chenab and Jehlam, flow into the plain areas of Pakistan. Draw a finishing line. Question number four, write names of the plateaus of Pakistan. There are two plateaus in Pakistan, Potohar Plateau and Balochistan Plateau. Draw a finishing line. Now students write long question answers. Question number one, what is the physical region? The area where physical features, that is climate, temperature, rain, soil and altitude are almost the same is called physical region. Draw Finishing line. Question number two. Write a note on mountainous regions of Pakistan. Mountainous regions of Pakistan is the heading. The number one, the world's highest mountain ranges, that is Karakoram, Himalayas, and Hindu Kush are located in north and northwest of Pakistan. Number two, this world's second highest peak, K2, is located in this same EGO mountainous region. Number three, Kohe Sufed, mountain ranges of Waziristan. Kohe Suleiman and Kerthar mountain ranges are located in the northwest. Number four, these mountains are a natural barrier line between Pakistan and Afghanistan. So students, point number five is the earning of these regions are through cattle rearing, horticulture and limited agriculture. Draw a finishing line over here. Question number three is write a note on plain region of Pakistan. Number one, this is the most fertile region of Pakistan. Number two, the river Indus and its tributaries flow in this region. Number three, many large canals have been constructed here for irrigation. 
Number four, plain regions are densely populated. Last point is most of the people in these areas earn their livelihood through agriculture, industries and trade. Draw a finishing line. Now students, we will write contents of part two of chapter number two, interdependence. Contents, fill in the blanks by choosing right option two. Question answers, two. Now students, on your next page, write fill in the blanks. Human beings depend upon the environment for their basic needs. Three options are given. Plants, mountains, environment. Correct answer is environment. Number two, interdependence is increasing due to the development of agricultural transformation. Three options are given. Increasing, decreasing, finished. Increasing is the correct answer. Draw a finishing line over here. Answer the questions. Question number one is what is interdependence? Interdependence is a status through which people and other things rely, depends upon one another. Draw a finishing line here. Question number two is what is meant by international interdependence? Answer. There are small and big developed and developing countries in the world. Number two, natural resources are not evenly distributed everywhere, so these countries trade with each other to, ful to fulfill their needs. Some needs are number A, agriculture, number B, science and technology, number C, transportation, and the last point is industry, etc. So students, this is the end of our chapter. Hope you have understood this chapter. Do practice of written work in your rough copies. Thank you and Allah Hafiz. Stay home, stay safe.